guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. So in today's video, we're gonna be doing a follow along workout because a lot of you guys requested this video and we really wanted to show you guys what our workout looks like. We've done workout videos in the past, but this one we're going to be doing a follow along so you can do it with us. And all you will need is a TheraBand. So there are five sections and we each focused on different exercises that you need in dance. If you don't wanna do this whole workout, you can go to our description so you can just focus on one thing each day. We will explain the workout as we go, so let's just head right into the video. So the first thing we're going to work on is strengthening our abs. So this is really important in dance. Obviously everyone knows it's probably one of the most important things in dance is to have a strong core. So we're going to start with doing a plank. So we're just going to be doing one minute. We're gonna do 15 seconds on our elbows with both feet down, then 15 seconds with the right leg up, then 15 seconds with both legs again, and then 15 seconds with the left leg up. Three, two, one, and up. Now lift your right leg off, Now put your right leg back down. Now lift your left leg up. about planks is that you're also working your arms at the same time. So the next thing we're going to do is an exercise for your obliques. We're going to put our hands behind our head like this and we're going to bend side to side and we're going to do 50 of those. So here we go. You should really feel that in your obliques. I really like this exercise because it's pretty easy, but it makes a big difference. You can really feel it in your sides. Sometimes I do like a hundred, so if you feel like you can do more, do more. Hope you really felt that in your abs and keep watching for the rest of our exercises. So now we're going to strengthen and stretch our turnout muscles. Your turnout muscles are very important for ballet. Obviously any ballet dancer needs to have strong turnout muscles and flexible turnout muscles for ballet. And it's really good for all styles too. So the first exercise we're going to do is the clamshell turnout exercise. You're gonna lay down on your side and just, you're gonna turn out both legs at the same time like this. And you wanna make sure your hips are stable and we're going to do it 20 times. Here we go.
Okay, so we'll finish the first side. Let's do the other side. Okay, now we are all done. Now we're going to do a turnout stretch. I do this one all the time before class or after class. It really helps open up like your hip and your turnout muscles. You're gonna bend your front leg and straighten your back leg. Make sure that this leg is in line with your waist so it's not like out or like to the side. And you're gonna try to rotate your back hip in while you're doing the stretch. You can go forward, you can like fidget around a little bit in the right spot. We're gonna hold this for 20 seconds on each leg. 20 seconds starting now. Okay, the first side is done. Now let's do the left side. Left side is done. Hopefully, the trauma muscles feel nice and stretched out. You got a good exercise, and make sure to keep watching for the rest of our workout. Now we're going to do a stabilization exercise. This exercise really helps with your ankles and makes them really strong for point work. So all you do is roll down and up on one leg eight times. So let's get to it. So just shake out that leg and then we'll go to the left.
and then just shake it out. So now we're going to be working on stretching and strengthening our back. We have one strengthening exercise and a couple stretches and let's just get right into it. So the first thing that we are going to do is back ups. We're going to do 25 of them. You can put your arms here, behind your back, whatever you want. I like to put mine behind my back, but let's get started. Here we go. And you're done. So now that we just strengthened our back, we're gonna do a couple stretches. Place your hands down on the floor and put your hips on the floor. The first stretch we're gonna do is just push up like this with your hips and your hands on the floor. We're gonna hold this for 10 seconds, then we're gonna go down and rest for a couple seconds. The second pose that we will hold for 10 seconds, you bend your knees and then we will rest. And the last stretch is only for advanced dancers. If you're a beginner, just do one of the first two poses. You grab your legs, and you try and straighten them on the ground. It's really hard. And we're gonna hold that for 10 seconds as well. So let's get started. One, two, three. So hopefully you guys really felt that. I know I definitely did. So let's keep going on with the video. Now we are going to strengthen and stretch our feet. So first, get your TheraBand and wrap it around your right foot. So we are going to point and flex 10 times on the right foot. And then 10 with your toes. Now we are going to stretch our feet. So all you do is just sit on your feet and we are going to be doing this for 15 seconds. Now you are going to push forward and do it for 15 seconds. And that's all. All right, so the follow along workout is all finished, but before you guys go, I just wanted to talk about 
this new massage gun that we just got. After a long hard workout, I love using a massage gun to massage my muscles because it feels amazing. And thank you so much to Bob and Brad for sending us the C2 massage gun. I can't wait to use it. I'm gonna try it out right now. So it started. It's very quiet, it's not like super loud. I know a lot of massage guns can be like really loud and annoying, but this one is quiet, which I absolutely love. Let's try it out on my leg. That feels amazing. So there's also five levels, depending on how hard your workout was, what happened in your day. You guys definitely need to go get yourself a massage gun, link in description. These are amazing and they will help you so much with sore muscles. These are perfect for dancers, perfect for a gift for a dancer. I also have to announce our subscriber of the week. If you want to be our subscriber of the week, all you have to do is like this video, subscribe, and comment what videos you want to see next. So this week's shout out goes to Rory Chan. Thank you so much for watching our videos and supporting us. It means so much. Thank you guys again for watching our video and we hope to see you guys soon. And always remember that we post every Sunday at 12 p.m. EST. Bye guys! Oh hey! Yeah, we were ready for you. <laughs> so let's get it. <laughs> You're so bad! Can I zoom in? No, absolutely do not zoom in. Okay, I'm recording. Does it look good? That light is blinding. Don't put that in if you don't like it. <laughs> wow! You couldn't even do one. Go. Okay, what's the next thing I'm gonna do? Why is it so difficult? Or, that's wrong. <laughs> Let's try that again. That's so painful. Activate your core muscle. <laughs> your core muscle. What? Let's speak it. Because you know. Don't need my timer. Right. The first side. The second side. We're gonna. Don't look at me. Ow. Don't look at me. I don't know what to say. I can't do that anymore. Yeah.